Hello everyone, I'm Scott Knudsen with Cowboy Entrepreneur here with Greg Brown in front of the Cowboys and Indians booth at uh, Cowboy Christmas at the NFR. Hello Greg, thanks for joining us first off. Well, happy to be here. Thanks for asking me to sit down. Well, we're honored you sat down with us. So first off, to start with, my wife and daughter and I, we always get the magazine and we love it. You know, my wife, my daughter's looking at the fashion and we enjoy it and the covers are iconic and there's always somebody on there that's relatable and we and we appreciate that as consumers. Well, we really work to try to find during whatever's going on during the year, whether it's a new release of a movie or somebody that's very relevant that is involved in the Western lifestyle, we really try to find somebody that's very relevant. And uh, it's, it's exciting and we enjoy doing the covers. Well, they're, they're just gorgeous. They really are artwork when you look at it. Because when you're, you're walking by them or even at the booth when there's so many lined up, they're just beautiful to look at. And the people that are on there are so diverse and so interesting to read about. And to pull that diversity into a, a, a magazine, how do you do that? How do you manage that? Well, um, recently we've tried, we, we've had the uh, latest issue, we have the Pioneer Woman from the Food Network on, Reed Drummond. Right. They're large ranchers, they're one of the largest landowners in the United States, but they're certainly one of the largest landowners in Oklahoma. And it just fit with the cooking, from the cooking network to the ranching. And they're our, they're our January cover, and we're real excited about exposing somebody you might not think are ranchers and you are really involved in the lifestyle. But we get to bring those, you know, those, those interesting covers and interesting celebrities in to you know, show our readers and do some good interviews and get to photograph the ranch and look at the ranch with them and learn what they enjoy about the rest of the ranch. Well, I think it's so great. You, you can do that and bring it to so many people that might like her for a certain reason or might like the person on the cover for a certain reason, but actually find out more about them and how relatable they really are. And that's what's so interesting about the magazines. That I it's amazing, what, just like the, the new series, the Yellowstone series, yes. and to be able to follow that from the beginning of the launch, I mean, they were just starting that. I did a cover with Kevin Costner right. in the very beginning. And then be able to have some of the other stars on the cover and be involved in the and seeing the growth of that series of Yellowstone coming up. And uh, Taylor Sheridan has done such a great job. It's a great show. Great show. Great show. So, and how wonderful is that you get to go through the whole process with them. And then, in, in turn, you get to share it with so many readers that get to enjoy that as well. Well, it's important when we try to, what we do with the Western lifestyle and how we continue to try to expose it and bring new people in. That, that's the key. And younger people. Right. And it's, it's really important. It really is, and with your magazine stamp. So how long have you been affiliated? I bought the magazine 20 years ago, and it's in its 27th year. Which is amazing. It's a congratulations on Thank that. You. Thank you. For sure. And our subscriber base continues to grow. Uh, newsstand for all magazines is tough because what's going on in the newsstand. But uh, the subscriber base continues to grow, and it's, uh, you know, it's doing very well. And, always excited about each issue that we do. Right, right. So with the success of the magazine, when some others are maybe struggling a little bit, what, so is it the covers or is it the content? Is it the group you're going for, your target market? Well, I think the covers being relevant and something you may not expect to see that person on the cover you know, when they come on a new cover. Um, I think that has a lot to do with it. But we try to do, we, we spend a lot of money on an editorial, we spend a lot of money on paper and the quality of magazine, and um, you know, we just try to do a good job. We've got a great, we target a great demographic, and, and um, we've been very lucky with it. Right. And, and you know, like, we kind of go back to my family a little bit, but we're such, you know, between my daughter and my wife and I, it's different, you know, different ages and different interests. Well, we all enjoy reading it when we pick it up, and it's always on the coffee table. We're always talking about it when guest comes over and look who's on the cover, and it's a centerpiece of our coffee table. Well, I appreciate that, and I can't tell you how many people that I talk to that have the first Cowboys and Indians magazine, and they talk about cleaning out their magazines, and they say, "Well, I'm going to keep my Cowboys and Indians, but I may get rid of something else." It's exactly. Always, always interesting to hear that. They're collectibles for sure. They really are. They're pieces of work, you know, they really are. They're nice to look at, and as you flip through the magazine, there's no down spots. It's just interesting. Well, we've, we've worked really hard trying to turn out a quality product, and we're doing a lot now digitally, online, because you've got to continue to, you've got to really grow that, continue doing what you're doing right, but grow that part of your business. So we're doing a lot of that. Wow, that, that's 
That's incredible. So, so what, what's a tip or what's something if somebody wants to get into maybe writing for a magazine or working for a, a company that does that or maybe photography? You know, how do they get involved? Um, somebody that may be watching or listening to it on the radio, how do they start? Well, I think having the passion is probably one of the most important part having the passion about what you do. And if you're interested in equestrian, western lifestyle, fashion, Having the passion is you gotta have that passion that you get out and start doing it. You get involved. I think that's really important. Right. I, I think it is too. I think passion is the number one thing about what we do. That's what makes it so much fun. And then finding the right person to go to and, and interning or whatever you have to do to start and just, just very important. Right. right. And, and you, find, you try to bring young people, get young people involved. Right. It's everything. It's critical. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, so what's the future look like? I, I know you're doing more social, but the magazines are going great. Subscriptions are up. So, so what's the forecast? What are you looking to do next? Well, we're continuing to try to grow the magazine, and we look at some. We've got some things that we're going to start doing and developing in the future. That we have a. Well, I, I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much about it. We've got some things coming up that are pretty exciting. Exciting, yeah. I'll so, get in trouble if I tell Well, you. hey, there's a good yeah. teaser to end on right there. Right. Boy, that's going to make me want to want to see what's coming down. Right. I appreciate your time. I know hey, you're so busy here at the NFR. And, pleasure. And I really do truly appreciate the magazine and all your hard work. Thank you very much. And what a pleasure to meet the young people that you have with you today. We're, working with you. we're very blessed to have them helping us out for sure. Well, it's a real pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. Thank you.